And Eli fucked up for the first time, everybody. Let's give it a round of applause. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you're when you're doing uh, this kind of stuff, you kind of tend to wonder whether or not you are re- being recorded at the moment. Make sure everything's intact. Anyway, yeah. that's, Eli, that's Eli on the side. It's your boy, Kelvin. And we've got Daniel right on the bottom. And we got Joey uh, here. Hat, we're tossing. Hat, hat, hat. Nah, nah. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, if you clearly notice, we are not in the studio. Yeah, because of the COVID nineteen and stuff. Yeah, the outbreak. Uh, the we're outbreak. Very and... the outbreak throughout the whole time. Mm-hmm. That's that's a fine thing to do, right, Kelvin? Yeah, because because this out and because of this outbreak, guys. You know, we're all stuck in our own perspective homes. You know, but you know. I actually posted a little IG story, uh, if you guys follow us on the IG, that even though, yes, we are essentially uh, self-kept uh, at home, but we are still committed to getting content out to y'all. So. Oh, yeah. that's what, And that's what we're here to talk about because this outbreak stuff is... It's, 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 it's taking little... the world by storm. Like it, it, like, it was very minor when it first came out, like, I think towards the end of like december yeah like end of november end of december and we're just thinking okay it's just gonna it's just gonna pass like everything else it's no big deal and then like months went by and it progressively got worse and then to a point to where you know we're all stuck now and uh we have you know our lives in general it just it it literally took a full 360 overall you're not wrong with that um yeah all of us have been affected Mm -hmm. um yeah i'm here but, you know, we've all been kind of in our little world been affected somehow, some way. Mm-hmm. But we're still trying to make content for you guys. And we're yeah. here to talk about how this outbreak has affected us in many ways. That's why we have, you know, four of our four of like the five guys that you usually see on this podcast. Um, David, you know, he's a little busy right now, so he can't really make it. But we have four of us, which is good enough, in my opinion. Yeah, and so yeah. we're all going to be talking about stuff how it, how it essentially affected us. I know it affected me very much. Um, da- I know it affected Daniel very much. I know Kelvin it affected you, and how mm-hmm. it essentially it's gonna, it, this has affected basically everything. Our job here, our what we want to do is like bring you fun content that is established in like pop culture, geek culture, anything like that. And now, because of this outbreak, we can't really do that. We have to rethink our whole, like, our whole schedule, really. Because we had these stuff planned. And you, you can ask Kelvin whenever you see him in, in, in person. First of all, shake, shake his hand and make sure that hand is washed. <laughs> and because uh, he, he and I, we were planning months in advance. We had, essentially, we had episodes out, like, all you know and it's 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 all ready to go yeah we 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 had our episodes planned out months in advance um we had episodes laid out uh like you know and it was already out for releases uh whether it was movies whether it was comics whether just anything in anything in in between in between the lines of uh the pop and geek culture we had the stuff lined up but essentially since the outbreak um it, it it not only had to make me and Eli had to think, rethink, essentially rethink and revamp our entire uh, episode structure and our schedule. But you know, now it's just a matter of okay, like no, no, what, what we're gonna dive into a little bit, guys. Uh, a lot of things being delayed, not just you know, essentially our whole lives being put on pause and restart, if you will, but a lot of other things out in the community uh, of pop, pop and geek culture are also essentially have a big restart button and or been delayed or postponed anything within that context. So, and that's what we're about to get, get into today, y'all in that sense. Yeah. It's, I gotta, just real quick with my laptop. But essentially we, we all have plans. We, yeah. we have, I like to think we all have plans in the future, what we wanted to do. There was a time where I wanted to do a special episode with me, Joey and Daniel, Daniel over here. I wanted us to do like a recap of E3, but now E3's been canceled. Yep. And that would have been so much fun, especially 
because like we're we're in this new age of like possible new consoles, new games. I would have loved to see like the new the gameplay trailer for Infinite. I mean, we're also gonna get it, but we have to scrap that now. And that's the sad thing. Yeah, I think PS Five. If I'm not mistaken, I think they might have rushed the release date because they said they wanted to get it out. They didn't want to delay it because of the outbreak. I I'm not yeah. sure, but that's the last thing I heard from the yeah. PlayStation. Line is like five. I think they were trying to get it out sooner or something in that context. Like they were trying to rush it or anything. It was just that uh, everything's going smoothly, or at least I hope it goes smoothly on their end. I don't know what's going on in their, in, you know, in, in their company, but pretty much all they say is like uh, the corona. Uh, I mean, uh, the, epi- the outbreak isn't uh, you know affecting the launch for the PS5 whatsoever. It's no delay or anything uh, affecting it. That's good. Yeah. And, well, just to go over, before we go into the full aspects of how it changed our whole gaming um, plans, you know, we have to talk about, like, how this outbreak just, not just affected us pop culture-wise, but also affected everyone. Everyone here, like, there was, I can't work, guys. (laughs) I work at a restaurant. They told us, like, no more restaurants. I'm like, well. So... Pretty much not too into it, yeah. Yeah, not well. It, overall, general, both me and Eli, we are both within the food industry service, and anyone that's been directly affected within the food industry service, we're pretty much out of the job. And you know, because of the massive shutdown of restaurants and jobs or re- restaurants, bars, um, so essentially, you know, we're you're kind of out of luck, you know. And for those out there, uh, for all of our fans that are out there, that also work in the food industry we we empathize with y'all because we we definitely know how it feels so we're like you know essentially the job or the food industry like if you were in that job that was our source of income that was our way of getting money our way of so you know putting geeks and cheerings together like getting the equipment and everything and now you know we're we're at it yeah that that's it's we had to now resort to not cutting back it's not it's not cutting back it's not cutting costs it's more of just thinking alternative methods of still getting the episodes out like we're doing right now and in terms of like, you know, moving forward and how we do our episodes in the future and how long essentially this outbreak will last. How long will it last? Will it last for the end of the year? Will it last only a couple of months? Only time will tell. And only, you know, the research and the data that comes in will tell as well. Yeah. And Daniel, I know the fact that you too, you have to look for a new job. No, uh, no, like that was back in December. I found a new job, but we're taking heavy precautions with, uh, well, how we're handling now. Like, for example, we had a coffee bar area where people could come in and grab coffee. We had to shut that down and no one can come in. And they can only visit us in our office unless it's when it's absolutely necessary. And we, and we can only help them out whenever it's considered an emergency too. So mm-hmm. uh, we're still like, you know, not only we have to like, prioritize some things uh, to help prevent like um, serious issues or whatever. But uh, we also have to go full clean down, make sure everything's clean, make sure everything's going well and stuff. Daniel, are you part of, are you also part of the, like the wave of employees that have to work from home? Cause I know a good amount of our friends um, within our circle, so to speak, they like, they, you know, some of them, they have professional jobs, but they have to work from home. Like some do. But others, they still have to show up. But like, even if there's not that many like clientele in the office, but they still have to like, you know, still show up to work, and you know, maybe work half a day. But you know, have you been affected by that in any way? Like, where you have to work uh, from home, or not, uh, no? Like, I don't think that'll be even possible because in my case, uh, what I do is I'm a leasing agent, and what they do is like, I whenever people come in, they ask us like, what they're looking for at home, and I have to be there because I have to show them around like what we offer and stuff. Okay. So, yeah, like, we, like everyone's affected. I mean, I know Joey doesn't hang or doesn't have a job, and you know, it's it, if anything, me trying to search for a job for these last couple of months is probably going to get derailed even more. Mm-hmm. In, 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 at least in in, in, in my head, because I was just thinking of maybe just starting off with like just getting on like a regular sort of like uh, just nine to five like menial job, but I don't think that's even possible at this day. No. It's yeah, just really like screwed us over. I don't, and I, I don't think 
even if I was trying to get a job that like involves like working from home, I don't think any company is going to be hiring anybody at the moment anyway. Yeah, like I think most majority of companies have some kind of freeze like at the moment. Um, yeah, and yeah, even I, yeah, yeah. Like, I think the only places that are really hiring right now are just grocery stores because that's where most of the people are at right now. Like grocery, uh, big chain retails, they're 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 having massive hiring. So like yeah, like each. Yeah. KGB, Kroger, Walmart. Amazon, yeah. Yeah, like, like I'm, everyone's going after it. It's, good. it's now like a more competitive job. You're probably not even going to get it at this point. I can't say, I'm, I haven't even tried it yet. I'm thinking about trying it, but like, I don't even know if I'm. I, ju- I just applied what yesterday. I yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, no, I was saying I just I just applied yesterday. Like the, Like, the day I got the news that, you know, oh, you know, you, everybody's laid off. I applied immediately. Like as, as soon as I got the news from my boss that I got laid off, I applied immediately. And like knowing, okay, there's a one in, I don't know, 50 to hundred chance that my stuff will get looked at because there's so many people now flooding the application. I mean, yeah, I know they're, they're accepting hundreds and thousands of applications at the moment. And they're ex- accepting maybe like two or three per day uh, just to fulfill the demands. But it's just like, because of the influx and that overflow of demands and it's like the 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 odds of me actually getting a callback for an interview and you know or for like to land like the job immediately is it's not high but it's not low either it's like right in the middle it's either you do get it or you don't yeah yeah like i'm just looking at a job that you know that doesn't really severely impact me because if i still have my old job um you know I, i used to work inside a mall in a retail store and all malls are shut down now, so I would I probably would have been out of the job. I remember for like uh I think it was for a hurricane when we had to shut down for. Um they still pay me for all the hours I could have worked for, so that was still cool of them, but I also work off the commissions too. So Yeah. I, it would have been a heavy, you know, reduction to what I usually make, but still. Mm-hmm. I know uh you know, I I know the last thing, you know, from my job uh that I got was pretty much just saying, okay, you know, we apologize. We're really sorry this has happened to everybody. And then we'll try to re- rehire back whenever we open again. I'm like, yeah, I got that image too. Yeah, when, when, whenever that will be, who knows? And like, we're kind of out. And then they says, okay, well, within the next, I think either it's going to be this Friday or next Friday, your last paycheck, however many hours you work then will be sent to you or will be direct or will be either sent to you or direct deposited. I was like, okay, well, yeah. that's that's pretty much how much I have to survive off of until like I, I land something new. But again, yeah. This this is is nice. Nice. yeah. And like you, you, people say, you know, it's not a big deal, but you know, this is a virus an um, outbreak that you don't either, you don't know you have, or you do have, mm-hmm. it's, it can be confused so much, so easily for something simple. Like the flu. Yeah. Yeah. yeah again, it, it's it like, can, it's the same sense as a flu. Yeah. So it's hard to tell yeah. if you have it or not. And yeah, like, like we're all from Houston, guys. Mm-hmm. Like you know what the biggest thing that should have been going on at this time, the Houston rodeo. But mm-hmm. turns out there wasn't a, someone who had it, and now they have to cancel all of it. And but that's because that's reasonable because you this is an area of a thousand people. There's a reason what? we have to do this. We, yeah, we have to. The reason we have to do social distancing. It is very you know recommended by most people. Yeah, there is a domino yeah. effect because like once one caught on, it just keeps going on and on. Yeah, yeah. but you know, it's funny because we're all geeks, so we're kind of used to staying at home by ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> and I am. Yeah, people are going insane because they don't have anything to do at home, but we have everything going on at home. Guys, we, I have a I have a huge stack of Xbox games. We, we yeah, we got uh, yeah uh, we yeah you like you got your video games and you got your models of Gundam. I got you know. My camera, in which I ha- I can now catch up on backlogs of video, photos, and stuff that I haven't been able to upload because I was in school. Oh, and school is canceled. Also, by the way, um, yeah, we're we're also stuck at home, and our school just uh, the school that me, myself and Daniel go to. They actually just recently announced that you know, as of a uh, few days from now, um, even though technically speaking it's already official, that all of our classes will be transferred online, and also that all of our classes will be online until the end of the semester. That was the most recent email we got, and that was the biggest shock to us because it's like you know, 
you know, uh, Daniel, I don't know, I don't know how many classes are you taking, but I'm taking like I already took. I'm already taking two online, and then now the rest of my classes that are in class is being shoved online too. So essentially, I'm taking I think five or six classes online in total. Yeah, like that's a yeah. Like I'm taking a few classes too. Uh, my teacher didn't catch the memo though. They said uh, class wasn't sp- supposed to start till like next week. Yeah, uh, my teacher was like, "Hey guys, we have some time for study. Like, let's go ahead and start our online classes now." A lot of which I'm <laughs> other I'm very surprised because other schools in the nation they're actually they straight up are saying, "Oh, cancel all classes for the mm-hmm. like for the semester, like cancel everything, like shut down, cancel everything. Don't even do an online class because this is affecting so many people." And then yeah. now you know, like some schools are deciding, okay, instead of canceling it, just finish out the semester, but do it online. And it's like, well, the only I, and then I think the the one of the positive things out of our school is coming out is that I think uh, for the month of April they're waiving uh, payments. Like if you're doing a payment plan kind of deal, then you are uh, exempt from paying for school for that month. So you don't have to pay. The thing is, I already graduated from that school, so I can't. I even graduated get it. from that school already, which in the case that's Eli. Like you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, hey man, you ain't, you didn't do the work like I did, boy. You're I know. On my level. Man. Anyways, yeah. So you know. yeah, the, this outbreak overall, it's like I, as you as as you guys can tell, it's affecting all of us in all aspects of life, uh, work, school, uh, you know. Um, yeah, like, and, like I said, we're you know it's it's gonna be tough on most people. We're kind of geeks. We're kind of used to being in ourselves. Heck, mm-hmm. I did this guy in like five in like a couple days, and I enjoyed it. Up. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, I've been trying to fix it. In the, where I messed up in the mall link, but it, it, it's good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's I got... surprisingly better than the last one. But yeah. no, we're we're despite the fact that you know we're saying like we as a lot of you know the joke online for us a lot of the geek guy the nerdy geek guys is that we'll be fine because like we're we're used to being stuck inside the house turns out it affected us real badly we just finished talking about gaming wise yeah you know, like just this week they just have they had no choice they, they ended up releasing specs for xbox series x and ps5 yeah because like, gdc a convention not a convention but like a conference, conference yeah a conference yeah. for like basically going for over specs about any kind of game or console. They just flat out just gave you the whole specs. And like, oh, yeah. me and Joy were like, oh, so this is their GDC thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the PS5 uh, like mm-hmm. specs announced. PS5. Like, uh, it was announced yesterday, I believe. And, it was yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> like, and, uh, I think I remember. Was, yeah, the thing was about that is like, there was already information we knew about it. Like, we knew there was going to be some form of, you know, backwards compatibility fast loading yeah. times and all that pretty much all, all it was is like a more in-depth analysis of how this stuff works it's- the, the day we have to talk about how your ears work and how the audio and the game and the console is gonna help you experience it a lot better i mean yeah i guess i have to send a picture of my ear to sony so they know what's the best settings yeah because you get that ear fiction <laughs> And like, uh, I, no disrespect to uh, I think was no, 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 Mark Cerny. He 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 knows what he's doing. He's doing uh, a good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, he knows what he's doing. But even when like it was not for us, it, it was not for us. It was probably for like I heard. I think it was either for investors or for game developers to know, learn more I about mean, the console. That makes a lot of sense because honestly, like, just sometimes when I'm when I hear like uh, big tech stuff equating, I'm just like I don't understand. Use simpler words. You use your words, please. Like yeah. dumb it down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, funny thing, Robin could understand. Yeah. Uh, funny thing about Mark Cerny though, <laughs> like uh, Ed Boone tweeted out saying that he created Marble Madness when I when he was nineteen, I think. So he has a big history of gaming behind him. No, and, and you know, that, and, you know, it's pretty good. You know, it's pretty cool that he's like. Still doing all this stuff. Like, I remember actually, like, I think tuning into like the PS4 Pro thing, and mm-hmm. it was a very similar sort of like explanation of how the system, how the console is, all the. I mean, yeah, but I think the PS4 did a lot better because we got tech demos seeing how the games would look. Um, yeah, we do get yeah, game announcements like the announcement for my second son there. <laughs> yeah, it's a different conversation entirely. But hey, we can do an episode on that. Yeah. But, 
because like we can just do that at home now. And now, um, GDC wasn't the only thing that was affected because recently, you know, we said earlier E3 was going to be a big thing. We were going to cover it. Even like, even Kelvin, who's not that big of a gamer, he was excited to, to hear about that episode. Yeah. Because like, you were like, oh man, I might not be in this episode, but like, it's going to be a lot of fun with you guys. Like, oh, I know Kelvin. I know. But now we can't do that. God dang it. And there's other gaming conventions or like stuff that's going on that might be canceled too. We have to face that fact. Gamescom is probably the next big one that might be canceled. Mm-hmm. Does it happen happening at least before the summer or during it the summer? It happens in, I think, like August, September. I so think. maybe around that time it'll be okay because supposedly this outbreak would, would like go down during the summer. Yeah, so, so like, you know, too, like uh, Evil hasn't canceled or anything yet, but they're on a watch to make sure how things are going. Considering how um, a certain uh, demographic from from the fighting game community tends to be in terms of hygiene, I won't be surprised if they cancel it. Which con hygiene, the guys, and for those who are listening and those who can relate, it's it's always been a thing, but now, especially with the outbreak, it's going to be like I feel like that should be thrown on the top. Yeah. With any kind of, we're gonna get there too because I feel like that's gonna be a big part of this. Yeah, with any kind of convention, with any kind of game expo, or uh, uh, um, like or or um, yeah, convention, game expo, like anything of equates to like mass gatherings of people. Kind of, that's the thing. It's mass gatherings of people. Yeah, and that's and that's how 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 I know. Yeah, they have to shut down because that is a massive group of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just one person with it just tore it down and it affected everyone. Yeah. And, you know, we'll get to the whole con stuff later. But, like, you know, yeah. it spreads. You don't want that. And one of the, another big thing that affected us in terms of making, like, episodes wise was the movies. Oh, yeah. That was, that, like, like, whenever I saw, like, how much stuff was being pulled push back or like delay it i was like okay like i knew like i knew if one if one film within this uh season was going to get pulled back the following films that are also within the season are definitely going to get pulled back for as well the biggest one that was supposed to come out this month um you know like like even though like we actually just found out about this bloodshot technically speaking was is out already but because you know you know people people are not going to theaters anymore people are like Theaters are basically no, big. It's a big yeah, theaters are shut down completely. On demand now, yeah. So Bloodshot yeah, is especially with all these like big blockbuster movies. Those are always mm-hmm. the big money makers. People like to go out yeah. and watch them. Mm-hmm. Like you can ask Joey how blockbusters work. They're the big money makers of the film industry. But but yeah. you do not want to be. You don't want to risk it. You're you're afraid, and that's fine. That's normal. Yeah. But, like, you have I mean, to also understand that yeah. you're yourself. And you're putting your customers at risk, and you don't want be you don't want to be that guy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like even streaming services are affected too. I believe they say uh, Wanda Visions is being delayed as well with productions, and I think they say with uh, the Batman is Batman was is is put on hold. What what, 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 Batman? The Matt Reeves one, the new one with Pattinson. Bad, Uh, huh? The Robert Pattinson Batman. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that was put on hold. Yeah, no, no surprise, no surprise there. Um, what's you call it? Uh, the new Mulan movie that was supposed to drop that also got pushed back as well. Black Widow. Yeah. Um, like, like and we were excited for that. Whole in general, guys, like these big popular, like essentially blockbuster movies, if you will, they're all getting they're all getting pushed back, delayed in some kind of yeah, way. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna impact. I would say like just the overall economy. Like it's yeah, not right, right now. I know that. Uh, yeah, like some films are being pushed back very heavily too. Like I know Fast and Furious Nine. Uh, that's being pushed back until next year in April, I think. Yeah, I, next, a whole year. A, next, a whole year. Next year. Just for, next year. For that, just for a series franchise that needs to end. And I will say this without getting too off tangent. Um, there's one character that should have stayed dead. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm, just saying that, I'm just saying, like, you, it, you're, you know what? When it comes out, we're gonna go watch it. We're gonna review it. Exactly. I enjoy the series overall, but like, just the more they make it, the less sense it make, and like, it now makes sense overall of how they should have ended it at like the, maybe the first like half, 
and they should have ended like that end of the series. But no, they kept. Oh, no, him. Yeah, I'm with you. He's back, yeah. and, like without going too off tangent, he's back, and then like, yeah, and now delaying the another ball being shoved back just deep over the next year, like. All right, God. All right, calm down. Yeah, calm down. and the mm-hmm. movie I was waiting for for over oh. uh, how many years? Since Wait, I which one? This movie was supposed to come out like three years ago, and yeah. after delay, after delay, after delay, it was finally going to come out in April, but it has to be delayed again due to the what outbreak. Movie is it? That was supposed to come out. The new mutants. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I guess like the 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 R rated uh horror. What's that R rated? Like it's I don't think it's been rated yet, but yeah, it was supposed to be a, a horror. You know, it was uh, theme 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 theme. I'm not yeah. mistaken, right? It was supposed to be a horror themed Marvel movie, and I was kind of excited for that because I wanted to see like more horror elements added into these superhero movies. Yeah. And after seeing that delayed so many times, getting so close to it, seeing it delayed again, that, that hurt me a lot. But I understand because yeah, you, we're trying to distance each other so that way we don't spread any any of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think Joey, um, he was looking up a list real quick about like movies that also have been delayed before we yeah. get to the big one that we all wanted to talk about. He's mm-hmm. got a quick list and like. Well, I mean, this is from the an article on the wrap. Uh, there, and I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot of them. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm not, I, I, I am only gonna go through uh, this, this, the, the ones that I think, or at least I think, matter to us. Uh, like we said before, Black Widow, Mulan. Oh, we didn't say Black Widow, but uh, yeah, that's one. We'll talk about Black Widow in a minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, uh, the James Bond movie, No Time to Die, is uh, being postponed to November. James Bond? Like, no, like, you know, it's like, it's, it's really say it's going to be in November. Quiet Place Part 2 is being delayed. Oh, like, that one was really good. Yeah, like nine, but uh, and you, you mean, uh, yeah. Little Mermaid movie has also uh, supposedly uh, just, you know, uh, halted production. I almost forgot about that. The, the, yeah. the live action, no, no, I seriously, like, I, like, I almost forgot about the live action Little Mermaid. And I just remember, I just, what are the time, like, guys? What are the time? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it goes everywhere. I mean, even uh, uh, the Shang Chi movie from Marvel uh, is also going to get delayed. Oh, oh. Son of a bitch. Because, uh, it's, it's like me. That was like personal. I was like, son of a bitch. I'm like, oh, but it's it 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 has it has to be like it must be done. Is, is it's something final. <laughs> um, it, it's more of a uh, the fact that the director is uh being tested for coronavirus and so isolating. Thank you. Oh, Jesus! Oh. Yeah. This is a lot worse than I thought. What yeah. the hell? Spe- okay, no, y'all. Okay, speaking of movies being delayed, officially now, guys, there are there are multiple actors that have been that have already been confirmed and tested. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Day Kim. Uh, yeah. Idris Elba, Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks. That's what I said, Woody. With, Hanks. with his wife, Rita Wilson. Yeah, but when you say Woody, I, you, sometimes people might think you're talking about Woody Harrelson. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, and and, uh, and uh, I think, let's see, um, oh, one of the actors from uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Game, of, Game of Thrones, he also tested positive. I he was he was the Swedish. It's 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 not it's not Bjorn Bond. It's not. Um, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. It's it, it's not Joe Brown. It's not it's not him. It's that's the right name. I I I I know I know it's, it's yeah. a sweet. It, it's the it's the dude with the. I know you're talking about. It was um. Hair. It was one of the wildlings. Yeah yeah yeah. He he tested positive recently, um, for a be from the outbreak. Yeah. He, yeah, from the outbreak, he he tested positive, and yeah, there yeah, there's there's a good amount of uh, actors and actresses that. In, uh... Oh yeah. no, there's another one. Who? Dear Varma, who played Ilaria Sam. Also, um I know, uh, the virus. I know there's one actress who was in the Frozen 2 franchise, also tested positive recently. Anna has uh has the virus. Who it is? Are you talking about? No, I just. <laughs> I just talking about the actor. Anna, like, okay, Kendrick, like Anna, like who? <laughs> so the actor you're talking about was Christoph. I, I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, it's it's it, it, it's one it's one of the Swedish actors who who. Norman Giants, man. That's why I. Yeah, 
Yeah. He, 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 he played the Wildling, right? In the GOT he, series? He's the Wildling. He's the, he's the, he's the Wildling. Man. Yeah, so he, he tested positive. And again, it's like, it's it's affecting, like I said, like when we say, guys, that this outbreak is affecting everybody, it's affecting everybody. Like yeah, everybody's it's getting affected. Like a lot of elderly people, a lot of people of age, so that makes kind of sense. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of pushing 40, I think. Right. And then I think I think what it is also is like uh uh what a lot of people tend to ignore also is like the outbreak is it's more effective to to uh people with pre existing conditions, uh uh elderly. So if like uh elderly individuals who are like sixty plus years, they're more at risk. Um, or people who have like chronic conditions, they're more at risk as at well as well. So I think it's it again, it's a matter of just being self aware and um in in, in limit limiting uh social interaction which in the case of social distancing is like very like that's why it's so important now in general which is what we're all doing uh social distancing i feel like um which they they, this i think it was either the seat it was this data actually came from the cdc themselves or the world health report World, world. Oh my God! Just listen to the CDC, please. Yes, yeah. I mean world, world Health Organization are also like reliable sources as well because they they also report on um, the current out. They're also uh, reporting data from the current outbreak, and it, they're saying that mm-hmm. it's better. If, like it's better if an individual, let's say, an individual stays in, and yeah, just stays in. Like you know, like what we're doing right now, it actually lessens the chances of exposure, lessens the chances of getting infected, lessens the chances in general of like, you know, catching, uh, catching something from the, from the outbreak. So it lessens the chances versus someone going outside and then you, you're getting it and then you end up spreading it to somebody else. So yeah. it, it, it's better your chances to stay inside, which what we're all three of us are doing or all four of us are doing right now. Um, and we're just practicing, you know, social, social distancing. It's that's like yeah. the that's like the new talk in general. Don't get me wrong; we all want to hang out with each other. I think we all have plans. Right. I know yeah. they wanted to ha- wanted us to get together to do some stuff. He, yeah, he recently texted me. Oh, yeah, you, like, you, you and I. I was gonna invite Daniel, you two, and mm-hmm. David, or and wherever he's at, to like a a book signing for our state, Stephen a- Stephen Aoki. It was coming. Yeah, he was supposed to come for he was supposed to come by for a show. In in addition to the comic book signing as well, he, he was also there for like a like a lot like a, a DJ show as well. Obviously that got canceled. Um, I mean we're all bummed out, but it's like Elva obviously he, he like, gave it a take. I know like we this, this once this passed over, I feel like he's gonna reschedule and come back. Yeah, it's a matter of when you know when he yeah, actually. Comes it's, back. All, it's all a matter of when, really, especially with these movies. Do you have any more joy just before we go to the big one that we all know we want to talk about? Um, I think uh, the only two uh, there there is some uh, we we already mentioned the the not reads that man movie uh, the 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 third Jurassic World movie uh, is has stopped production um, so I mean whatever <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm I'm actually uh, surprised that uh, this is a Fantastic uh, Beast three but it's also, it's being postponed the the other the other Harry Potter movies. The the semi sort of kind of prequels to the Harry Potter movies that aren't actually I don't know. Oh, you mean what? The the beast? what? <laughs> Namor has been put on like uh, pause, so you know. But what about Bill and Ted? Uh, no word on Bill and Ted. It's at least from the, the rap article. But I, I would say it did not be fair enough. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's about. The one, the most important ones that I think comes up uh, that affect us the most. Yeah. Um. Let's let's go for it. Black Widow. That was gonna be a big one for us. Mm-hmm. Because we're, I mean, it's one of the movies where I'm, I'm very excited to watch because it's it was supposed to set up this new tone for the next phase, and now that had to be pushed away, pushed yeah. back to another time. Yeah. Because like, uh, it would have been it would have been cool to see. I think the only one that's still. Wait, is Eternals done filming? I don't know, but it's supposed to come out this year, right? Yeah. The Eternals? Yeah. Like, I don't want any actors. They, uh, they had pictures of them in, in costume, I think, for a magazine, but I think that's about it. 
Yeah, that's yeah. one of their more uh, in-depth secret ones, but we'll see. I know you said earlier, these are one of our... I don't know, what do you guys think on the Black Widow thing? Because I know that was going to be one of our bigger episodes to look forward to. Like, I was really excited for Black Widow because I, I kept uh, checking the news about, you know, say, of them saying, like, yeah, we have a Black Widow movie in the making. It's, and they kept saying that over and over again. Yeah, we're making it, we're making it. And now we finally get one after uh, for Phase 4. And seeing it being delayed uh, is kind of a bummer. But you just can't help it, you know. Just things happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with, okay. So the Eternals, their release date is scheduled for November 6th of this year. So yeah. for now... Are safe, but for sure they've they probably stopped production. So that release date is probably going to get changed at some point. Yeah. If anything, if 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 they're already delaying, if they're already pulling a halt halt to production, then you know, just like Black Widow, um, you know, which Eli mentioned, we're all very excited to see. Especially like this is one of the uh few movie. Uh, this is one of the one of many movies that are uh that is transitioning us into Phase Four. Over the Marvel Universe, and now you know with with the with this delay in production, like you know everything is gonna get pushed back. But you know it's it's not like it's, you know a lot of people like I I've seen like a lot of comments and posts when people say about that is like oh like you know this sucks. I'm like yeah it sucks, but it's like for the safety of everybody and for the people not getting caught with the vi- with uh with the with you know with the virus and the the side effects of the out of the outbreak, it's best for everybody you know, to delay production exactly. for the time being. And, you know, yeah, it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck a lot, but you know, it's some if if we're all if we've all been very patient up till now for this release, then I'm pretty sure we can wait it out another couple of months. Um until yeah. this, this outbreak pa- passes over and we don't like all be Karen's uh, if you will and freak the hell out. I'm just saying there are so many Karen's out there like th- who are who are freaking out over nothing and it's like you know, it's just a matter of like, you know, some simple rules to keep yourself clean, keep yourself healthy and, you know, to, 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 to like things, things to keep, to, to be self-aware of in this time. Yeah, and the, this is a Marvel movie. Everyone goes to those Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why it's one of the more high, highest selling, like not box office. Well, for some days, but like everyone goes to one. Mm-hmm. Like I've, I've known people who aren't that big into comics who would go see it because it's it's like a bonding experience basically. Yeah. So like, you know, like whenever you've not been to a Marvel movie and seen like a packed theater. Yeah. So like it's it makes sense. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, now we're now we're going to one of the more um, big things to talk about. And this is one that we've all had experience with. Mm-hmm. And that is. We all have, we're all geeks. We all like to go out and do fun stuff. But one of the fun things we like to do is go to conventions. Yeah. And recently there's been some announcements of like some cons um, closing down for the, because of coronavirus. I know the big one was um, the most of the Comic Con. There was going to be a lot of big news, a lot of big people coming in, a lot of comic writers, a lot of people in the industry. Mm-hmm. They had to cancel it because one, it's in Seattle. And that's, yeah. one, that's where one of the big places got hit first. That's, so uh, that's that's the Emerald City, right? Yeah, Emerald City. Oh, that's in Seattle. Yeah. So honestly, anything that goes on in Seattle, like any kind of big event going on in Seattle, that's an automatic cancel at this point. Yeah. Um, because, and, yeah. Then, like you said, er- we said earlier, these are a gathering of huge amount of people. Like, yeah. how many people do you see at a thousand, thousand plus for sure. Or yeah, definitely. Easily exceeding thousand plus. Like, um, you guys the lines to get in. Lines to get in, people wandering around the yeah, the vendor hall, dealer's room, uh, panel, yeah. uh, interaction with the special guests that are there. So mm-hmm. you know, like I, I feel I feel like uh, you know cons like Emerald City Comic Con is like it's if if that con specifically because not it's not just because okay yeah they're in Seattle but also it should serve as a clear message to where like okay con gatherings of that size and magnitude. And especially the bigger, the more relevant, not relevant, but the more bigger cons should also heed warning, so to speak, of possibility of uh, either postponing and or canceling, you know, just just for the year. And because, I mean, even if it does cancel, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's 
it's they're called they're the conventions yeah. they they are annual. It happens every single year, and there are times when cons have actually canceled for the year. And you know, it's they're like, okay, sorry, we've canceled for the year, but we'll be back next year. And then you know, it's they're gonna be the same thing, and maybe they're gonna for the next year they'll make it up somehow and bring something more positive towards the con itself next year. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you know, this is this is something that <laughs> all of us, uh, me, myself, Eli have talked about um but even before the start but the start of this episode we talked about is con hygiene and i cannot Ooh. emphasize that enough that like i feel like just that talk within the convention within the convention it um it community, among, yeah it isn't for someone every con yeah like you would always find that one guy or that, that one, one person that who uses it guy at least one mm-hmm. there's that one person that refuses to and i have stories yeah, Lord. yeah. There's yeah, that one person. You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't recall RTX animation panel. No, I don't remember. I feel like if I tell the story, he always doesn't remember because that's that's how bad the dude's order was. It knocked him out. Not him not remembering. <laughs> not remembering. I don't remember what that what happened RTX. Yeah, because the dude smelled so bad and knocked him out. Knocked out his memory too of what happened. <laughs> but no no but it's like all jokes aside though because i that's the big thing it's like there's that one person or that few group of people and i have seen groups of people who have done this who will literally go out to the con floors and disregard all sense of hygiene it's like i you know disregard all you, you want like, to have you a, a bad experience for everybody you yeah, know you want to have a big gathering of people knowing that there that there are attempts to be a lot of unhygienic people. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a breeding ground, dude. Yeah, that's like that's how bacteria and viruses form, guys. That's how like bacteria and viruses like that. that that's that's how they spread. Is like when one person mm-hmm. doesn't like take care of themselves. That's a breeding ground for all the vi- viruses and bacteria to just jump around from one person from another. Even if like one one person that's not clean at all in a group of people that do take care of themselves. It's gonna spread like a wildfire. So yeah, I, feel, I, I feel like you know, with like and again, any approaching cons uh, towards the end of the spring season or into the summer and then fall, etc. I feel like those cons in general should emphasize on how important um, high just uh, common common uh, common hygiene yeah. is. Yeah, common hygiene are just wash your hands, take a shower, like just do whatever. You know, and take care it's of yourself. Yeah, yeah. The deodorant is like a. It's not and, also not that expensive. I know, I know. It's it's bad. <laughs> like not just even talking about making fun of the whole hygiene stuff. Yeah, you know, Daniel, you and I have went to like conventions before. We went to Conpalooza together. Mm-hmm. We hanged out for a bit. Um, you know how big these gatherings can be. It's not just people who occasionally, who, who not just people like us who love. Uh, either would be comics, gaming, sci-fi, whatever. Yeah. There's also people, normal people. You have well, elderly, children, even. I can't. Yeah, even you tell got families going people. in there. Yep. Yeah. And you want you and have, you want to wreck their experience? I don't think I don't think that's a good image you're setting for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, there's so many people there. It's it's basically a smaller rodeo for us Houstonians, and it's 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 a big turn. Like, you don't want, and I understand when they have to close, and I totally understand. I'm not against it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. If there's still a thing going on, well, into like the cons that I want to attend, I might not. I might just decide. You know what? For the safety of myself, for the safety of my friends and family, I might not go. Yeah, and it's totally understandable. You, Daniel, you mentioned CEO Dreamland where a lot of the competitors had to pull out. Yeah, like, I think there was some sort of weird ranking system. Like, I don't fully understand yet, but yeah, they said uh, uh, because of the situation, uh, the ranking won't be uh, affected whatsoever. So they gave uh, players the, uh, you know, the, the assurance saying, okay, I don't have to go. I can stay at home and, you know, make sure I'm safe. And that caused a lot of issues for uh, CEO. Like, there was, it was actually at risk for... For that event being the very last time ever, and 
people like yeah. Yeah, like people actually donated and helped the guy out because he, now he's starting to pay out of his own pocket to help to keep the thing of uh, the event afloat. Yeah. Yeah, and like there's other th- and like there's so many things cuz like there was there's a very popular um YouTuber right now um Zero who used to be like the big Smash Brothers champion. He took he took a retired and Joey you you see you you're one of his fans. He's pretty much me, MK like, Leo before uh MK Leo. Yeah, yeah, both are Hispanics and they go to Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's the funny thing. And like um it's one of those things where they it's told they they, they mentioned before, like sometimes they would get sick after a tournament. Do you really want that to happen at a convention? That's the worst thing sure to happen if you get sick. After. Yeah. Because it's, I've, I've been to conventions, dude. They, they're they the most fun, but there's there are often times where it can be a little dirty. Mm-hmm. But there's still ways to go around it. Like, I, Kelvin, you were telling me about, like, this small convention. Where yeah, there, like, there, there's thing. a small convention that a friend of mine, uh, he went to, because he, he's the cosplay photographer I met at Dragon Con um, earlier this year. And he went to it, and uh, he was one of the uh, panel admins. Yeah, he was one of the panel admins, and they decided as a collective group, you know, not just not just like you know that person who runs the panel, or you know, not just my friend who runs the panel, but like just as a collective group, they decided, okay, instead of canceling the convention altogether, they just they just decided, okay, we'll still hold the convention in general for the three day weekend, but we'll just transfer, move everything online. And I feel like you know same as how all of us are doing the episode right now you know for 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 conventions you know smaller conventions even that's the best that's still the best way to get people uh people's attention get crowds in um maybe yes not in per maybe yes not in person but at least you have an audience uh online at least you like it having an online audience is just the same as having a a public uh, an actual like live audience it's just it's just a different means of getting whatever uh thing you want to share out there to the public, you know. And I feel like that's a really great idea in which you know cons should definitely take an example of is uh just doing doing things virtually. And I know um, Eli mentioned this as well how some guests are even doing kind of like live Q and As, but from their homes and they're still interacting with the fans on the day. Let let's say they were supposed to show up to a con, but because you know the con got shut down they still keep to their promise of, okay, hey, I'm still planning on doing a Q&A session, but from the comfort of my own home, and I'll still interact with you guys, you know? And that's and that's one way in which um, a lot, in, again, in which uh, people within the convention or the cosplay community and then even, like, you know, special guests or actors are practicing the concept of uh, social distance, you know? Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's all that matters is that you practice social distancing, and that's why... Yeah, a lot of people don't really get it that when it comes to social distancing, you need to like separate yourself from a lot of people. A lot, I think, yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, I think a common, a very common misconception of social distance is like whenever people think that oh, it's just, uh, they, they, they're thinking okay, yeah, you stay home and you isolate yourself from the rest of the world. I mean, if you want, if you want to think that way, that's fine. But really, social distancing is meaning like there's, you could still, you know. Interact with your friends. It's just now through online means, like what well, we're doing. What, guess, is, what we're doing right now. Yeah. That, uh, when you go to conventions, it's usually this place of like where you meet a lot of people and you become friends. I can't name how many times I met people and immediately became friends with them. Or mm-hmm. times where I'm like, man, I wish I got a, I had a chance to let you know talk to this person again. This person was so much fun. I yeah, before, and I think I said it mentioned in the previous episode with the cosplay that um there was this one chick who like we we talked about Endgame and her and her and then I met her boyfriend and then we all we became bros kind of stuff. Nice. And that was like a lot of fun, especially when because he was a huge gun fan. I was gonna give him. I was like, "You're gonna fan. You're gonna fan." Ah, kind of stuff. Then you know I won't be able to meet them again because of this thing. But that's fine. That's fine. It's yeah. it's because I still have you know I still got, I still talk to you guys mm-hmm. and we're still going to produce content like this as we said earlier. Yeah. There's so many ways for us to work around it and cons are usually the big 
thing to affect us in terms of like in terms of fandom but you know <clears throat> here we are we still find a way yeah yeah and anything else you guys want to talk about in terms of like how has it affected us or you want to talk about how you know how to keep yourself clean and healthy yeah again it's just a, a very simple list of a few rules um Again, social distancing, that's the big one, right? That's the that's the big, big one right now is, you know, that's what we're doing. That's what all four of us are doing. Uh, wash your hands often. Uh, if you ever go out, use hand sanitizer. Same kind of perfect place when you wash your hands. Exactly. Use yeah. the theme songs that they've been putting up online. Literally, I mean, literally when you hum 20 seconds of a theme song. And I can tell you right now, if you sing 20 seconds of your favorite anime song, like your intro, you're set. Because or e- because because so because the, anime, from the TV the TV size version it's literally a minute or less oh, okay. from Come song. You're saying, uh, to sing in Jap- in some broken Japanese you are wrong. Well, okay. Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna say. Uh, okay, is, so so I guess for the people me, who, who don't me, sing Japanese me, you can sing the, me, the English me. intro too. I guess. Yo, uh, <laughs> I got a better one for you. Instead of singing some Chinese song, you can just say the whole line of Pokemon. Jesse and James Team Rocket line. Uh, I'm Jesse. I'm James. Why, 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 gotta, why, gotta, why gotta be Chinese, uh, Eli? Why gotta be Chinese, huh? That's a joke, boy. <laughs> not funny. You still not, it's it's funny not funny. It was funny to him and it was funny to Daniel. I mean, I don't really care. I just tossed a 20 in my head. I mean, <laughs> if you like to go and sing it, you could try doing the poker rap. Oh my exactly. god. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I but. Don't know, it's a better song, too. Bring it, bring it up, guys. You know, so you want to go yeah. ballistics? Just listen to Dream Theater's uh, Metropolis Part Two, the entire mm-hmm. album. That thing is a concept album, so the whole album is like a whole story. Dude, I gotta, I gotta. Yeah. Anyways, bring it back. Uh, you know, against the simple things, um, uh, social distance, keep, wash your hands. If you're going out, use hand sanitizer. Whenever you're outside, avoid touching your face as as possible. Six like I know- minimum if you're interacting with people six feet minimum and you know also alternative like greetings like hey the elbow the foot like or the, as, as some of the people on the internet have been doing the, the wakanda forever i'm sorry it's like what are you about i do not know what you are talking about my brother that's all wrong Kelvin, have you ever seen the SNL skit where they make fun of the Wakandan salute? Oh my gosh. I've... You're, you're, you're those two other guys who, and we're the guys that are like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, um, but yeah, again, just those are just some, some very simple, uh, very common things just to keep in mind when you're going out, when you're staying at home. And, you know, also just be self aware as well, you know, because you never know. Because the longer. Especially, um, you know, with this outbreak that's still continuing going on, the longer you're outside, the higher risk that you are at of possibly exposing yourself. Um, so, you know, just, pra- just practice some good common hygiene, and I think we'll all be fine. Yeah, and there's other ways for you guys, for us, for us guys here, or like anyone who's watching this, here and listening to this, there's many other ways you can like go about still having fun. Mm-hmm. You know, read a book. Lord knows I have a huge back catalog of comics and manga over here. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, right there, like, you see those two, uh, four black uh, books? Those are, like, uh, the deluxe editions of Berserk. Oof. Good Lord, man. That's... Is it when they're still in the boat? Oh, oh no, 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 no. I, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I they only got up to four volumes. Uh... And dear God, it's I think it's huge. Yeah, and like there's and like I heard recently they're doing this whole Netflix thing where you can like like people can like binge watch. Uh, net, yeah, Netflix has introduced a uh, Chrome extension link, is, is if you will. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah so basically, uh, basically setting up a whole like Netflix watch party like that. I literally suggested that to my friends today, and you know, yeah, some of them aren't working, but you know, it does sound a good idea. It it is a good idea if, right. if you want to watch. If you don't even you know, like using Google or Chrome, or whatever, uh, you can even use yeah. Discord. Yeah, Discord, you know, other yeah, means. Yeah. Hey, Kelly, remember how you never had a chance to watch all the Marvel Netflix shows? Let's do it. I'm I'm up for that. 
<laughs> I'm off for do do a Marvel marathon. Well, because like half of it is on Netflix, and but then a good chunk of it, the majority of it is on Disney Plus. So I don't know how Disney Plus would work. Oh, no, with, Netflix, uh, you've never seen them. What's up? If we're going with the Netflix. You've never seen those. Which ones? The Netflix shows. Mm, oh, the Netflix Marvel shows. Yeah. We yeah. The Netflix shows. From the bottom tier to the top tier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, and then like there's other ways for you guys to go. We're we're here, to, you know, like heck, we're here talking. There's other things, you know, you can read a book, you can like play some video games, start playing some card games or whatever. If you're, if you're a creator, do. um, you know, get all that. Cre- if you're a creator, get all that creative stuff out. Like you know, like for me, I you know, for me, I'm a cosplayer. Eli, you draw. Uh, you know, Joey, you're all about the videos. Um, you know, and me myself, I also do like you know, uh. Uh, YouTube content as well, and this is a good way for me to just catch up on all my stuff that I do, um, you know, that I can finally upload. So since uh, we're all in essentially self isolation at this point, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, there's there's many ways we, we can all find a way to have our our fun and still be in a in a fun sort of way. Like, yeah, acting up right now. But aside from that, guys. We've, I think we've reached everything we've talked about, right? Or yes, we want to keep going. Yeah, I, th- I think I think we covered ma- mainly everything. Yeah. All right. So I think we, you know, we, you guys want to call it a day? It was, it's one of our shorter episodes, but then, you know, we kind of did this last minute. But it's there's there's a point to it too. Because yeah. this was a very uh very relevant um topic because literally and this has become the talk of of everybody yeah everybody's talking about this now these days in all yeah. sorts of platforms um yeah, it, it just hit us out of nowhere it drastically changed our lives for i don't know how long but yeah like it's affecting everyone mm-hmm. yeah so guys you know it's been fun we'll do this more often if, if you guys are listening or watching us, we'll always we'll always strive to put more content. We'll always strive to do more stuff. Me and yep. Kelvin have already planned out some future episodes to take mm-hmm. over ones that we have to change because of this outbreak. Mm-hmm. So, you know, don't don't fret. And if you're new, if you like what you heard, go check out our past stuff. But you know, yeah. this is where we have to like end it. Because we have to also focus on other stuff and do some other stuff. We might even chat up a little, little bit afterwards, guys, just to see what we can do. Yeah. And yeah. So, Kelvin, tell them where they can find us. Yeah. Um, so, as always, guys, uh, you guys can listen to us to all of our uh, podcasts. You can listen to us to... Uh, you, oh, my gosh. I can't talk right now. You can listen to us on anywhere where podcasts can be heard. Um iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, uh, Google po- Google Podcasts, Castbox, uh, you know, and if it's, if you're listening to us on iTunes, slap us that five star, give us that five star. Uh, we and we really appreciate it. Um, support us on all of our uh, social medias, or follow us on our, all of our social medias: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, uh, we have our Patreon as always. So feel free to support us on there as well. It will really help us out in the near future, especially now. As up and coming uh, podcasters and struggling artists, if you will, uh, this will really help us out in the near future. Um, but yeah, um, and uh, YouTube. If you're watching, if you're watching uh, through through YouTube, uh, like, subscribe, uh, smash that uh, bell icon to get notified all, on all of our videos to get uploaded daily. Um, and yeah, yeah. And so you know, guys, it's keep yourself safe. Plus yeah, your and you know, <laughs> social distancing. You have to do what you can to keep yourself safe. Mm-hmm. Just things. And you know, yeah, stay safe. Don't do anything stupid. Be wary of others. Don't do anything. Don't do anything that you might put yourself and others at risk. Basically, yeah. This, this, yeah. Is, this can be a scary time, guys. But this is also a moment for us to all come together and and work in a way that benefits us you know mm-hmm. we all wanted to go out and do stuff we all want to go out and party you know we just have to break and all that stuff but what matters most is keeping ourselves and keeping others safe yeah that is the most important thing to do especially at this time it is a very 
scary moment and it's fine to be scared but all we as a community we as human beings should always be there to support ourselves and support anyone we can whether it be the big stuff or the small stuff little yeah. changes here and there and all that we are people and we have to help each other mm-hmm. this is a moment for us to show that human spirit and i say we have the ability even if it's just social distancing, it's fine. You're keeping yourself and you're keeping others safe. And that's what, that's all that matters. Yeah. But yeah, it's been us, it's been the Geek Centurions roll call. David, you started us. Daniel, you started us off. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Daniel. Yes, boy, Joe. Kelvin. It's me, Joe. <laughs> and it's been your boy, Eli. And keep yourself safe, guys. Wash your hands. We've been the Geek Centurions and we're signing out. Stay clean. Bye-bye.